Explain mm -hmm. how you discovered that Harvard had these photographs of your relatives, of your ancestors. It's quite an amazing story um, that started with a request by my mother um, that I document our lineage, our genealogy. And um, at her passing, I set out to do exactly that. And um, that was in 2010, where the Internet wasn't as—the uh, information wasn't as readily available as today. And um, I happened to be out walking for lunch one afternoon, and I stopped into a small ice cream shop, and I was speaking with the owner about my dilemma, and he offered to help. And it was actually him, Richard Morrison of Norwich, who found the images on the Internet. Found the images. And how did you know <coughs> that Renty um, was your great-great-great-grandfather? Um, as a child, my mom often talked about her enslaved ancestors, particularly um, the man in the image who she fondly referred to as Papa Renti. And um, she also talked about the fact, uh, you know, of our lineage, uh, how we, how our family was broken apart by slavery. She remembered some of the family names. And so, when I met with Rich that afternoon, I gave him the names and the information that my mom had shared with me. And um, I didn't return to the ice cream shop uh, for a while thereafter, but when I did return, he said he had found amazing information on the Internet, and particularly a picture of my grandfather. And uh, the, 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 the images, uh, the information that Rich sent me included a narrative about who Louis Agassiz was. Uh, but he sent me an email with a number of links. And I remember reading the information about Louis Agassiz and being overwhelmed um, and shocked by it. Uh, and then when I opened the link to the picture of Renty, um, it was a moment for me, because I knew immediately that this was the man that I had heard so much about throughout my childhood. Tamara Lanier, we give you the last word. What do you want to see happen to these photographs? Well, I, I certainly want to consider all of the options. Um, the one thing that um, I have talked about with my attorneys and with my family is it's important for me that people know who Rinty is and also who, who, or who Rinty was and who Agassiz was. And I hope that there's a greater um, education or a reteaching of history so that we can dispute the legacy that Agassiz has kind of stained my family with. His name is all over Harvard. His name is all over Harvard. His name is all over this country and parts of South Carolina and the world. And I think that that's also an interesting point to share. <clears throat> I'm not only getting support from people all over this country, I'm getting international support. And I heard from a young lady in Helsinki, Helsinki Finland, uh, the other day, where she said, the world is watching. And it's because she believes that the United States has never atoned for the sins of slavery. And she believes that this case will be that first opportunity.